I'm going to be testing once human on my 4080 Super. I'm going to do it at 4K, so we've got that resolution set here. It doesn't look like we have any upscaling or anything in the game yet, so there's no DLSS or FSR, unfortunately, so we can't test that. Uh, Graphics-wise, I've got everything maxed out at first, so we've got everything set to very high, which you can see. Right, hopefully we get outside. Hitting 100 FPS inside here, though. I expect to obviously see that come down a little bit once we get outside. I think this game... It isn't... I don't know, is it early access? I didn't think it was early access, but... I had a look online, and it seems like there's a lot of stuff they've got to add and update, so I don't really know how... I can't remember how it's... What it said about it in Steam. Normally it says, obviously, it's early access, but... It's free to play, so... Not too bad on our GPU either. 300 watts, so that's pretty standard for my 4080 Super. VRAM's like pff, really low. 7.3 gig. So it's not tough on that at all. Like this is kind of more like what you'd expect. Pushing 100 FPS with the 4080 Super at 4K is pretty decent. But no ray tracing, that's pretty much the difference. You switch that on. That'd easily drop us down like 40 FPS here, probably. So I assume I've just got to keep going. Frame time looks pretty decent as well. The old stutter you're seeing there, but it's not too bad. I don't feel anything in game. Even in the combat, it seems alright. I've managed to craft a weapon here, so I've got a crossbow now. And I also figured out you can uh, actually first person like ADS, like this. And third, which is pretty cool. But I'll take a look around this open world a little bit more. Definitely get some dips down from the 100 FPS we had. So it's dipping down to we got 77 FPS there. Like I was saying earlier, hopefully with a bit of luck we do stay above 60, which looks like at the moment we are. I'll maybe check out switching some of the graphics settings down in a sec as well and seeing how it does. Have noticed that VRAM's crept up to just over 10 gig now. You would obviously expect that compared to where we were at the start because it's obviously loaded. It's had to load a lot more in. Graphics wise, I am noticing though. See the textures on that? It seems like when I look away from it and then look back, look. I have noticed that on quite a lot of stuff. Which isn't too good, like you're seeing over there. It's almost like the draw distance. But overall, not too bad performance-wise, I don't think. 0.1% low, 52 is all right. There's not basically no stuttering at all. I'm not feeling any stuttering. A couple of small stutters in the frame time, but like nothing crazy. Where's the best place to hit it? So on the butterfly, how do we do that? Auto attack. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Oh wow. That took off a lot of health. And it's shooting. So I oh, I'm supposed to jump that. I mean, that butterfly thing is OP. Look how much damage it's done. There we go. And the world is Where have I got to go? With it looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too. They might hold the key to all the Stardust pollution. There's someone down there. Now that we've made it, let's set up a territory. See that even the animal popped in there, and even on the the shadows, I can see that just. 
disappearing loads pretty aggressively. That's not particularly ideal. Whoops. In this area, though, it's holding up FPS pretty well. Still seeing it here, 190 to 100. Also seems like I might run out of arrows in a sec. I've only got five. Now, is this someone's house that they've built? Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? So you can actually build houses and stuff. This is almost definitely surely got to be something someone's built. Which is pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what's happened here. You can get vehicles as well, which is pretty cool. Can we get out though? I don't think I'm going to be able to use the the doors. There's another house over there. There's something up there. Is that like a cat or something? Oh, it's... See, this is what I mean. It's actually got a roof on it. It just didn't load in again. I'm still at 4K, but I'm going to take a look with the graphics set to low, so you can see that here. Now look at it set to low here, hitting almost 200 FPS is a big difference between the two. Looking at pretty much at least 100 or more FPS with it set to low compared to very high. There's not that many settings in between because I was going to maybe check out high but there's basically a lot of the settings are either low, middle or high. Two, it, it, the settings to me look a little bit off because some of them have two settings and they're both called very high so it's a little bit confusing. I think there maybe needs to be some uh, a little bit of a look at that. But it gives you a rough idea, at least, between the two. So you'd expect, obviously, everything set to middle to be somewhere in between. Probably round about 140. You know, you'd be doing 4K 140, probably, with it set to the middle. Definitely can notice the difference, obviously, graphically. It looks not good at all compared to Ultra. I'm, I am trying to pretty much find somewhere that I can put this down. But the server I'm on seems really full. There's pretty much no space anywhere. Which is a bit annoying. So definitely still getting some pretty bad popping. You can see that in the distance. Has brought our VRAM down by a little bit, by about 2 gig, because we had over 10 gig at Ultra, so... A little bit lower on that. Power-wise, isn't really that much different. Maybe 10 watts on average at best. Still seeing it above that 290, so it's not a massive difference there. I don't know if I'm, I might have to move servers, maybe. Just notice my CPU. Holy smokes, 96 degrees. Oof. We are using 200, over 200 watts on my CPU. That is nuts. Haven't seen that in a while. I'm going to take a look at 1440p now, so I've changed that here. Uh, Graphics-wise, I've got everything maxed out again. With the switch here to 1440p, it should be pretty interesting to see how it does. Initially, at the moment, it looks like it's giving us about uh, 100 FPS, I would say, on average increase compared to what we had at 4K Ultra. So we're seeing it at 180 FPS average. We had about 70 to 80 in this bit at 4K Ultra, so it's a pretty significant difference. Uh, obviously, it is going to be a lot more heavier on the CPU. Dropping the resolution down a bit, that's always what happens. I still had really bad pop in there. Do you see that load in? So the CPU's, yeah, hitting 200 watts there. So we're going to see that temperature probably hitting 90 again. There it is, 93. Uh, but GPU, oh, it doesn't look too bad. I was seeing that GPU usage fluctuate a little bit, 97%. It's not too bad, though. As long as it doesn't drop down too much further from there. I saw 92% there. So you might see a bit more fluctuation in the GPU usage. If you would expect that would probably be even worse at 1080p. 
I'm noticing the 0.1% low on our FPS looks a bit worse for, to me. 59 FPS, 0.1% low from like 180 average. It's quite poor. I guess obviously the gap's going to be bigger compared to 4K because we had like 80. But I was seeing it's, I was seeing it look a little bit choppy in that frame time. I know we did see a bit of that at 4K. It's just obviously going to be probably more noticeable because we're at higher FPS. Well, that was laggy, wasn't it? Whoa! Can I make that? There's a lot of enemies here. Maybe this was a bad idea. So we are seeing it drop to about 160 there. Drop under even there, 154. But at least this gives you a rough idea. I know some people would probably want at least... Uh, if you want 144 FPS with playing with everything maxed out, then you're going to have to drop to 1440p. Because we don't have any upscaling in the game. I don't know if that's going to get added. Hopefully that does get added at some point. Because then you could definitely get over 100 at 4k. But at this very moment, we don't have any of that. I think obviously the only two issues are... Dropping down the resolution and lowering the graphics, at least on my 4900K. It's, it goes super CPU bound, so you're seeing a 50% usage, and obviously it's going to have just pretty extreme power usage. So for me personally, I'd probably would be okay to just play this at 4K Ultra. We were seeing, you know, 70 to 80 FPS, even upwards of 100 and some bits. I'd... I'd be all right to play at that, I think, and it's a little less heavy on the CPU. See how the lighting changed? Obviously, one universal issue on this is that popping, though. It seems quite bad, and the textures, too. When I look around too quickly, it's almost like it can't load it in quick enough, so everything looks... All the textures look low until they load in, which is pretty bad. If you've enjoyed this video, click one of the videos on the screen now to see me testing more GPUs, and I'll catch you next time.